Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu. And as most of you know, I had my start in photojournalism and I segued into wedding photography. And I'm speaking with Tyler Workin, who is also has the same sort of background, similar background, not the same, similar. He's come from a newspaper background and has jumped right into wedding photography and has killed it. He's an amazing photographer. He's an amazing teacher. He's been on Creative Live as well, but he's also coming to Inspire. And this is the Inspire Photo Retreats, a conference that's taking place in February of 2016. And if you are a wedding photographer, you should attend. You should, absolutely. Tyler, thanks for joining us today, my friend. Thanks. Thanks for having me, man. I'm going to jump right in. I know people can easily look at your work and just be in awe of it. Uh, you know, when you are, uh, when 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 they can just sort of look at your work on your on your website. But t- talk to us about your work from the perspective of of really getting a start at wedding photojournalism. Is this what that's what you do, right? Yes. Yeah. It's certainly. Um... It's certainly at the meat of what I am passionate about, for sure, 100%. So tell us a little bit about how you've segued from photographing for newspapers and moving into to wedding photojournalism. Why that jump? Why was that jump so such an easy jump for you? Well, it you know it was it it, it was it was one of those situations where I I always tell people um, you know. You know, you, you know that old saying, it's not going to cut the mustard, you know, um, it's like, it's like, I knew photojournalism, I didn't think it was going to be the life for me. Um, I loved it. I was passionate about it. I, I, it was, it was, it was everything that I, that, that I wanted except for the commitment to it that I would have to make. And so I knew that, um, I mean, I knew in college during my, during my journalism classes, you know, I'd I'd be asking all these all these uh, journalists questions, and 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 a lot of them were about you know, family life, and stuff like that. And I knew I wanted to have kids, and you know, I heard from so Joel Joel Sartori mm-hmm. from the National Geographic industry to my class, um, our you know our class, and and uh, you know people like Dave Hewlett, who's a local photographer, and really great people. My my teacher brought in, and. You know, one of them said, you know, yeah, my kid doesn't recognize me when I get off the plane after assignment for National Geographic or something like that. And I'm like, man, I don't think I want to do that, you know. And so I kind of had that in the back of my head. And then, you know, I'm diabetic. um, And so that was kind of, you know, when I was at my internship in the Columbus Dispatch, that was kind of, you know, you know, wreaking havoc um, a little bit. And and uh, and so, you know, I I I decided just to come back and start working for my dad as an electrician. And uh, okay. I was gonna take over wow. the yeah. I was gonna take over the business, and that was kind of the idea, and you know all that kind of stuff. And I spent about about four years doing that, and it just it just never quite was my passion, and never quite what I wanted. And so then I started hearing about this 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 new style of wedding photography, this photojournalism style. I'll never forget it. I was at the newspaper in town, working for you know a small newspaper, working doing a you know day day assignment whatever and i was just talking to the guy and and i'm like hey what's what's uh what's so and such doing nowadays and they're like he's a wedding photographer and i'm like i I'm, I'm i'm confused like he, why is he shooting he he's a really good photographer why in the hell is he a wedding photographer and I'm like oh no 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 it's really cool it's this new kind of style it's like this photojournalism style and then i said so then i just kind of Kind of slowly started thinking about that, and one day I just decided to make up a logo and start a business, and just I just went and did it. I never worked for anybody else. Right. I never I never second shot any weddings. I just did it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because in journalism you get an assignment and you got to go figure it out. So yes. you know that you know I wasn't scared of a wedding. I just showed up and just did it. And granted, it wasn't like it should have been done way back in the day, you know, <laughs> but but it but it grew from there. Yeah, you know? it's funny that. Uh, so often I would, I would have people come up to me and tell me, hey, aren't you afraid or nervous or whatever, you know, in terms of getting great photographs at a wedding? Well, yeah, we are. In a way, we want to get great images. But at the same time, we also want to be present and really capture the moment when things are happening. So that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's sort of the training that a photojournalist gets by working for a newspaper or a magazine. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
let's dive in quickly into your 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 presence at Inspire, which is the first sure. time you're coming to Inspire. Tell us a little bit about why Inspire uh, inspired you in a way to, to, <laughs> to submit your proposal to why are you why are you so interested in coming to speak at Inspire? Well, you know, I've heard a lot about it for a lot of years. Um, you know, I'm 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 pretty good friends with a lot of people that have spoke there and or attended there. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, it always just sounded like such a really interesting event um, in terms of how it's run. Um, I don't, you know, quite frankly, I, I haven't been there, so I don't really know all the details. But, you know, I hear just really great things about, like, bringing people together, community, um, lots of different things they do to, uh, to kind of have a, a different experience. Mm-hmm. Um, than than what most conferences kind of offer, and I'm and I, I was just really excited to uh, to kind of to kind of be a part of it and, and and see what it's all about, you know. Awesome. Can, can you give us a sort of a peek into what your your presentation might be uh, at the Inspire Photo Retreats? Yeah, you know, um, basically the bottom line is is that like you know every time I speak. I want to try and challenge people to think about their purpose as a photographer, right? Um, because as soon as you, you know, you know, you know, you know, I'll be honest, you know, I'm I'm starting to get really concerned about the photography industry, the wedding photography industry, and what's happening. Um, I feel that quite quite frankly, we're all starting to to miss the point, um, and you know, it's it's you know, and we're all guilty of it because we're all you know, all these all these wonderful contests out there and people are pushing themselves and it's, and it's amazing they're pushing themselves. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a double edged sword, you know, or, you know, it's kind of like bittersweet. It's like, Oh man, wedding photography is really getting amazing. But then I'm like, is it getting too amazing? Um, and so I sometimes worry about that. And so, you know, you know, for me, it's, it's, you know, I want to, I want people to think about their purpose. Right. And so I often, I found my purpose about, about, three or four years ago as a wedding photographer. And it was a real, it was a real moment of clarity for me. Um, and you know, it's helped me to, to not only define my style even more uh-huh. and my voice as a photographer, but, um, you know, it just, if we don't have a purpose, then, then, then all we're doing is running around, you know, you know, trying to find that and we're, and we're trying to just plug, plug pe- plug brides and grooms into this formula that seems to work from last weekend, where we're, where we're not we're not we're not we're not thinking about the individuals mm-hmm. and their story, oh. and and quite frankly, why are we taking pictures at a wedding? Like you know, I I want people to question that and mm-hmm. think about think about what the purpose is. And so you know, basically, I just you know, it's 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 what how can we make sure that we are not serving ourselves and we're serving the people were documenting. Um, you've sort of hinted at some of the challenges that the wedding industry is facing right now. Mm-hmm. Can you be a little bit more specific about what those are? <laughs> a little bit more specific. Um, you know, I mean, you know, it's, it, it's a, it's tough um, to kind of, to kind of nail that down because, you know, you know, one of the biggest things is, is that, you know, a friend, my, uh, my, uh, my uh, colleague, um, Brandon Perigo, he runs Work in Films, which is our our films division, like video segment. And him and I are very much, very much on the same page in how we shoot and our philosophy behind what what we do. And he says, he said the other day as as we were talking, we have lots of discussions about this. He says, you know, you know what's funny is as soon as you put the word wedding in front of photojournalism, everything changes. The definition changes. And now all of a sudden it's it's all the photos. But it's none of the ethics um, behind those photos, and so you know, and it, and it's not any anybody's fault per se because people just don't know any different. You know, they don't they don't know they a lot of people have not been through a lot of that stuff. You know, and so for me, the ethics behind what I do are more important than the final image result. Um, and so and so you know you know that's. That's one of my one of my biggest things. I'm I'm I I kind of stand behind, and it's not for everybody. You know, mm-hmm. it's not like in the end, it's a wedding. We're not we're not we're not we're not hurting anybody. We're not we're not we're not misleading 
the news, right? Right. So, so, so it doesn't really matter if you, if you really want to boil it down, right? But it matters greatly to me, and more importantly, it matters greatly to my to me because of my client's experience of what that of what that was, and just and just me having the journalistic integrity behind my images um, is 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 a huge thing for me um, in terms of never setting anything up, never affecting anything, never never manipulating any situation and just being a witness to what's happening. Um, that's just a really important message that I think, I think we all need to start thinking about. Well, you know, that's a wonderful uh, message uh, for everyone to just sort of have everything sink in. Uh, when, when you're at Inspire and you're hopefully watching Tyler work and talk yeah. to you about this entire presentation, uh, you'll keep in mind that, you know, this is another way of doing wedding f photography. I mean, this is really what yes. Tyler is saying, you know, um, don't feel not like the you, only way. Not not, the only it's way. not the only way. Exactly. It's, it's a way for you to, to put, possibly explore uh, for your own business. Uh, Tyler, where can one find you online? Uh, Working Photo is our website, W-I-R-K-E-N-P-H-O-T-O.com. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, we have lots of things from there, and then I also have my uh, my uh, teaching series that's, that's called right. the, the workshop series. W I R K um, S H O P work, workshop series dot com. Yep. Um, you can kind of go there and check it out. We got we got stuff there, and and I I have trouble keeping updated with that with that with that thing. <laughs> but uh, I just got I got too much going on. You but do. Uh, yeah, you do have several websites, and I'll have uh, links to all of those uh, in the post. Yeah. Um, we look forward to seeing you at Inspire, my yeah, friend, and yeah. uh, I'm, I hope I'll be in the front seat taking notes <laughs> because, it, seriously, you've, you're one of the guys who I've admired from uh, a distance and I've always wanted to attend your workshop. And as I told you before we started recording, I completely missed your Boston workshop by a few days, and uh, I apologize for that. But I, uh -huh. I, I hope we can make that things up when we yeah. uh, meet in uh, Rhode Island in February. So, again... This is Tyler Workin from Kansas City, and we're going to meet with him at Inspire in uh, February 2016. Hope to see you all there. Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm excited. Thanks, Tyler. Take care.